How can I best explain this? How do I word this? I don't know what you were thinking If that's what you want Oh, well then forget it It's lost on you Hello there beautiful people My name is Ryan Rafels Like most things in my life This video is long overdue So I'm here to talk to you today about my debut album, which came out on February 21st of this year, uh, Grumpy People and Six Who Are Pretty Okay. So I wanted to do a, a track by track kind of, um, kind of an explanation, like uh, insight, kind of like a track by track, um, play by play explanation thing, you know, whatever. So to start things off here, uh, the name of the album is uh, Grumpy People and Six Who Are Pretty Okay, and that is, uh, the town I live in, we have a saying on our sign that is, uh, that this town is home to friendly people and six old grouches. And, uh, what I, I am, uh, playing off of there is that in my experience, uh, working customer service mainly in this area, is that it seems to be, a uh, grumpy people and about six of them who are alright that live in this town. So that is where the album title came from. <laughs> And uh, the whole idea of this album was me trying to capture uh, my experience growing up here and uh, coming of age, um, mainly uh, from my mainly from my later high school years into now my young adulthood, which is you know big early adulthood development uh, in this uh, interesting little town. So um, let's get into the songs. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> The album starts off, the first song is a little ditty called Lost On You. I don't know what you were thinking, if that's what you want, oh, well then forget it, it's lost on you. So this song is kind of about, um, a lot of things. So especially over the past few years of my life, um, I've been noticing a lot of difficult people, let's say. Um, and people that I've felt for whatever reason, for one reason or another, maybe, um, have, have doubted me or completely, uh, misread me or, um, you know, heard stuff through other people kind of thing. Um, I'm seeing these things in other people as I'm kind of doing a lot of my own healing and, uh, working through through traumas and breaking, kind of as I, I heal myself as I as I go into adulthood and uh, and you know work through things from my past and try to be a healthy person going forward and you know learning about why we react the way that we do and um, you know how things from our upbringing and our experiences affect us and how we can break the ways that we react stuff like that. So basically, what I'm trying to say is um, I'm seeing. A lot of these people just kind of, you know, reacting instead of responding. Um, people who don't take accountability, people who are projecting a lot uh, onto me or onto others or people I know. Um, and that's kind of basically what this song is about. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, you know, people that are basically committed to misunderstanding me or, you know, not really just kind of living blindly through their subconscious or their ego, um, you know, anything you do to try to explain it to them or whatever, they're not going to get it until they finally have that realization for themselves, hence, no matter how much I try to explain it, it's lost on you. There's so much more that went into it than that, so many people, so many situations, and all of the specific stuff, but that is, that is really the gist of it, really. So number two, I realized after the fact that uh, there was a lot of uh, you in my song titles. Uh, number two is uh, called All For You. How could I go and leave it all behind when finally everything's going right for you? And uh, basically what this song is, is uh, this is a song about finally, uh, finally being a kind of a good spot in my life. And uh, looking back at how, you know, previously I would have just uh, kind of wanted to run away, leave the town kind of thing, like, you know, just just run, basically. And this is kind of about when I 
when I finally had the realization of kind of stepping into my power and, uh, and finally really taking control, doing everything I can with what I have, where I am, making the best of that, taking care of myself, and doing it all for uh, me. That's kind of a song that I, I uh, kind of wrote to myself, in a way, is basically what this was. And then track number three, track number three is a song called Let the Good Times Roll. be completely honest with you, I have no idea where this song came from. <laughs> um, when I made this song, I, I kind of came up with that, uh, with that riff, that and, uh, I was like, yeah, this is kind of twangy, this is a little, uh, that kind of hard rock and also, like, southern, I guess you would say, kind of mix. And at the time, I was listening to a lot of, like, Primus and, uh, stuff like that. So... <laughs> I made this like this uh, this dirty, grungy riff track, and uh, I sat down and I listened to it. And what came down was uh, this story about this guy who uh, doesn't want to be messed with and uh, ends up making some bad choices. And uh, it's just a story about this guy, and I don't know where it came from. Uh, just kind of the words just kind of came out. And uh, that, that's all this song is, no real specific inspiration other than that kind of, that kind of dirty, grungy, uh, Primus style, kind of like that My Name is Mud kind of inspiration. And track number four is called Something About You. Every time I close my eyes I see your face so strong I say about this one. This one is definitely more personal. Yeah, so we're here again with uh, the you theme. Uh, thankfully, you know, only uh, three out of six songs, only half the songs of the album uh, <laughs> have three words in the title and end with you, <laughs> but that's beside the point. I guess all I can say, or all I maybe want to say, is that uh, it's basically about falling for somebody or wanting somebody, and uh, kind of the um, all the strong emotions and everything that that comes with that and uh, you know and you know the the longing or the yearning for a connection uh, basically and that's about it number five uh, is probably my favorite song on the album with uh, lost on you being a close second uh, a song called paradise harder for less go ahead and let more in is everybody nice and cozy And who cares if you have no choice? Maybe here is always sunny. There's nothing like living in paradise and working harder for less money. Which has a lot to do with the uh, small town I grew up in and am living in. Well, you know, the whole album does, but <laughs> this is specifically about um, people uh, like me that grew up here and uh, were born and raised here, no choice, coming of age here. And uh, coming out of high school, or you know, college, whatever. And what we're seeing right now is okay. This is Florida, <laughs> right? So a surge in a lot of people uh, coming from up north, and uh, there's a big uh, wealth divide in this area. Um, I believe this area was actually ranked like number three uh, in the nation for the biggest divide between the wealthiest and poorest people living in the same community. And a lot of people are coming here from other places, and, uh, which, you know, by all means, I'm not judging, live your life. Um, but it's done things like drive up a lot of, uh, prices for homes and, uh, stuff like that. Uh, making it very difficult for locals to, uh, to even live here. And people that are, you know, born and raised here and are coming of age are having a very difficult time just being able to live uh, once they get out because it's next to impossible and uh, it's not right and uh, 
you know, it's it's basically getting to the point where, you know, the people that make the community run, like the service workers, your retail, your food, and all of that, uh, it's getting almost impossible for them to live in this community, and it's a big issue. Um, so I wrote a song about it. <laughs> and then the last song is a song that, uh, it was actually the first song that I ever released, but I wanted to re-record it for this album because it's just the perfect culmination of everything I was trying to do. Coming straight from Sandy Sebastian Sally Not what you expected on the MIC But it's coming out so naturally Just like what you wanted it to be Oh, oh Sebastian Sally And it's a song, um, every verse in this song is a, a true story. So uh, the first verse is a true story about one time a friend of mine and, and, uh, and I were uh, going down by the river. We would do this, uh, we would go down to the river almost every night after work. And we got out of work very late. So we were there somewhere around three in the morning. And there's this old guy running down by the river and he walks by us and he says, good morning. <laughs> And for some reason, this got to me so much, and I just could not let this go because we just got off work after a long day. It's in the middle of the night, and we walk by this man and he says good morning to us? Like, what planet is he on? First of all, you know? Just bizarre, totally bizarre. <laughs> um, the second story is about, uh, don't worry, I, I won't name names, but, uh, me and my trio of uh, best friends. One of my friends uh, gets on a bicycle in the toy aisle and this poor employee, probably so fed up, probably so overworked, underpaid, comes by and he's just like, get off the bike. <laughs> and the secondhand embarrassment I felt was so strong, um, it made its way into the song. So, you know, it's. Basically what we're getting at here is that there's nothing for us to do in this town, <laughs> so these are the experiences that we have. Um, and then the uh, the last verse just talks about uh, we have a problem with uh, coyotes because we're tearing down all of the our last wooded areas in the community and the wildlife has nowhere to go, so they're being displaced, so there's a coyote issue. And uh, the snowbirds... Most of you probably know, for those of you who don't know, we call them snowbirds in Florida, people who live up north uh, during the summer and then they come down to Florida to live in the winter. Um, so that's what I'm talking about there. And uh, that is Sebastian Siley. Alright, so that is the album. And uh, it is available on all platforms, uh, Spotify, you know, YouTube. I know it's on Pandora, iHeartRadio, I know those work a little differently, um, Apple Music, everywhere. So um, it would mean a lot to me if you would go check it out, add it to your playlist, stream it, support it. And uh, I'm already in the early, early stages of working on my next album, which I will reveal more about later. And um, yeah, I look forward to uh, trying to keep up making new videos, making new content for y'all. Um, so. Yeah, I know this video is a long time coming, and uh, hope you enjoy it, hope you enjoy the album, and I will be seeing you around.